What's up, Money Maker Tribe? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Avi. Hello, if you're new, if you want to join the Money Maker Tribe, all you gotta do is push the subscribe button below, ring the bell, and smash, 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 smash the like button. That's it. You're part of the Money Maker Tribe. Welcome. The initiation process is over. I want to talk to you guys about SNDL stock, Sundell Grower stock. So, uh, some big news came out today for the stock, not like gigantic life-changing news, but big news uh, and two, two things happen. Uh, but before we get into those two things though, I want to do a technical analysis on the stock, look at our current position, wh where we at. And I hope that you rested up over the weekend, the long weekend, had a nice President's Day, and you're ready to get back into things, right? This is our first video uh, since the market has gone back, uh, has come back. So hopefully uh, you're ha having a very green day. Uh, my day started a little bit in the in the red, and then our uh, favorite guy, uh, CCIV, CCIV, uh, went up 25% uh, again. <laughs> To 50 area so that really moved my portfolio um, so that was a good thing I was in the red in the beginning of the morning and now we're in the green a uh, nice green so hopefully you guys are in the green as well <clears throat> so <clears throat> my voice a little bit uh, lost it there so SNDL stock uh, after we had the the amazing run that we had here over the four area we had a little bit of pullback uh, and I saw a lot of people already saying that's it, SNDL is over, SNDL is done. <laughs> We've been talking about SNDL for about two, three months already and um, we're not over with it, we're not done with it. I think that this sector has a lot of potential going forward. So if we look at the technical uh, indicators, a uh, technical analysis, sorry, we'll get to the technical indicators soon. Uh, you can see here that we're up 4.75% and it's been kind of a whirlwind day uh, if we go to the the one minute you see we have here this 221 uh, area and the stock opened up going down so we were in the red in the beginning of the day and it it this area acted as a resistance you see there was a fake uh, uh, breakout here it, it went back tried again tried a third time it wasn't able to break it out unless in the last uh, there's 45 minutes left for the trading unless in the last hour we'll see a huge volume you see here in this the middle of the day there was very very big volume which is kind of weird because usually you're not going to see a volume so large in the middle of the day usually we see a lot of volume in the beginning of the day the first 30 minutes an hour and the last hour which is uh, called the power hour you'll see also a lot of volume uh, usually traders will come on in the morning when they get to work or in the beginning uh, go eat lunch come back talk rest and then at the last hour of the day uh, they'll, they'll trade some more so that's usually where you'll see the big spikes in volume and during lunchtime is usually an, an area where you're not going to see very big movements in most of the stocks so this would be an area that if you're trying to get into the stock this would be the area and the time that I would recommend to try to get in and not either in the 30 minutes because you could get in and then suddenly have a drop like you see here uh, uh, or after lunch also you can see this is already after lunch we see that it, there was a pickup in volume and it jumped so you would have let's say put in a price and, and then you'll be chasing the price to get in if you're trying to do a limit order so that's just something to take uh, into consideration if you're trying to get in maybe look at the if you can look at the graph and see what time it is also and see what the volume is what when you're trying to buy in even if you're not day trading this is important um, so let's look at the 15 minute 15 minute we can see here that we've had since we had that rundown we've been basically consolidating in around this area this is already um, in the aftermarket uh, from this day and also that this trading day which was on Friday the pre-market aftermarket everything's been really consolidating around this 2.1 uh, one area and it's a very strong uh, resistance so when we get enough uh, uh, volume to break through out of it I think we can do a second uh, try to break the four area which is a super super strong area we talked about it before you can see I have the two lines here the broken line and the full line the red line so this is a very very strong area if we're able to get back there and we're able to break this because if you remember if you've been watching the videos um, let me uh, zoom ah, I can't zoom out anymore <laughs> Uh, it's uh, 13 was the high and we were in this area of four before twice in uh, 2019 and 2020 the beginning of 2020 so it's not that far away to get back to the four area 
And this is why I'm still holding, I didn't sell out of my position. And I updated the tribe on the penny stock uh, challenge on Sunday. If you're interested, I'll link to that uh, newest episode at the end and you can check that out. Um, we're, we've been doing very good. Even though we've had a little bit of pullback in SNDL and CTRM, we're still doing really good. We're still on pace. And, um, and hopefully, even if we have some down weeks, we'll, we'll get there eventually. And I gave a year a year to do it, so it's uh, we're already we're only three months in, I think, or something like that. We're at episode five, uh, but I started it a little bit before I, I started the video series. So um, before we continue and talk about the news, if you have any joined the Moneymaker Tribe, all you gotta do is push the subscribe button below. We're a multicultural, multinational, multilingual tribe. So hello, shalom, salam, aloha, hola, ciao, konnichiwa, namaste, asanyong, privyet. Uh, bonjour, everybody is welcome. All you gotta do is push the subscribe button below and ring the bell so you get notifications about videos that drop. It's very important. Sometimes we talk about a stock, uh, let's say SOS. We talked about it a few weeks ago and it's just gone uh, crazy uh, and, and it's gone um, really, really, uh, really, really parabolic. <laughs> you can see we talked about it here in this area when it was around, I think, two or three and now it's at 12, so it's up uh, 4x. Uh, so if you would have seen that video, maybe you would have got in and you had the notifications, you would have got in. Uh, so I updated today the guys in the Discord that I opened a position in SOS. I know it's a little bit late to the party, but I still think that it's uh, got a lot of potential with the rising price of Bitcoin and the hype behind it. I still think that this stock can continue to grow. Uh, if you're interested in joining the Discord, we have already over 200 people. I think it's like 230 currently uh, and every day more and more people are joining. So I'll link to that in the description down below and in the pinned comment. It's only 33 cents a day, guys. So think about it, less than a cup of coffee at McDonald's. <laughs> uh, so if you're interested in joining, we have an amazing group of guys and girls, men and women, um, people with little experience and a lot of experience. So if there's something that uh, interests you, I'll link to that in the description down below. So now let's get to the news about SNDL. Uh, let me bring it up. So here, Sundell and in, Divya, not NVIDIA, right? Don't get this mixed up. In Divya announced a 22 million strategic investment. So basically what happened here is um, SNDL is using some of the money that they rec that they um, got from the selling of the stock, right? And giving it to um, this company in Divya as a loan. Uh, and, and, and SNDL, Sundell Gross has done this a few times. It's not nothing new. And one of the companies that they did this with before, uh, Zinabis, came out with big news today. So uh, another company that we've talked about on this channel before, Hexo, announces that it's going to buy Zinabis in a 235 million deal, adding to a European set presence. So a lot of the chit chat was that uh, SNDL was going to buy Zinabis. So that's not going to happen, right? It's not It's going to happen. Hexo decided to buy Zenabis, but SNDL did give a loan, a pretty big loan to Zenabis. And at the time, people were saying, ah, oh, Zenabis, they don't have money. They won't be able to pay it back. What are they doing? This is a bad investment, maybe. Uh, but now we know that Hexo is going to buy Zenabis. So I believe that they would pay their debt off, right? Or some kind of a, agreement on that and get the money back to uh, SNDL uh, in a fashionly manner. I don't know if they would continue the, the agreement that they have with Zenabi, so they would just give them back the money. I don't know what's what's in the agreement uh, with uh, uh, Zenabis, Hexo and, and Zenabis, but we'll have to see uh, what's going on in the future. So this is another interesting investment uh, that SNDL has done, and we know about the Zenabis uh, is, merger is not going to happen, and we'll continue to see what's going to happen. And guys, the most important thing and the most important news, let's get back to the graph, is that we have already 10 days of over $1. So the compliance is met and SNDL will stay on the NASDAQ for the foreseeable future. This is huge, huge, huge for the stock. They don't have to do a reverse split. Uh, they don't have to do any tricks, any any uh, uh, anything uh, out of the ordinary. They're, they're in and that's it. It's a done thing. Uh, they got 10 days over and if you, if you were watching the videos about a month and a half ago when we were at the 45 area, when we we're having this downtrend, uh, it, it was looking like it wasn't going to happen and I was uh, not that optimistic. <laughs> uh, but as soon as I saw this day, I felt that things were turning around and that's when I got my, my, in my position and it's, it's gone uh, good so far, right? Um, so I'll continue to watching S and I'll continue to watch SNDL. I'll continue to update you guys on SNDL um, because I'm not new to the party, guys. I'm not one 
of the new channels that <laughs> jumped on the SNDL train. I've been talking about SNDL in the good times and in the bad times. So hopefully you enjoy that and you appreciate that, that I'm just not a, like a new hyper. <laughs> I want to remind you guys that I'm not a financial advisor, not a money manager, and you should always do your own due diligence about uh, stocks before you invest in them, especially penny stocks. My recommendation is no more than 2%. I know that's a kind of a hard rule and people with a small um, amount in their investments um, might not like the rule, but when you're at $1,000, it might feel like a harsh rule, but when you're at $100,000, it's going to be a good rule. And if you don't practice now, if you don't get used to it, when you have a lot of money, um, you're gonna fall and you're gonna fall on your face. And I'm telling you this from experience. So uh, you can do whatever you want at the end of the day, but this is just my recommendation, right? If you haven't yet joined the Money Maker Tribe, subscribe, ring the bell, smash the like button, check out the Patreon, guys, uh, drop a comment. I'll see you in the next video. And like I always say, let's make some money.